Hi, YouTubers and WebTavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, in a previous video, I had an absolutely wonderful shave, and I used a brand new safety razor, the Vikings Blade Emperor Adjustable Safety Razor. Twist to open. This is the frosted chrome finish on it. It's fat handled. It's heavyweight. It's got great heft. It feels substantial in the hand. This is really a quality built razor. Really, really terrific. And as I mentioned in a previous video, it comes in two finishes, the frosted chrome and a vintage bronze and cognac finish, which looks a little different. And that's what we have here, right here. And we're gonna show it to you right now and have a shave with it. Uh, that's right, I have both razors with both finishes. And this is, I'm really excited about this because the color scheme on this is really terrific. Uh, again, look at the artwork on this, the branding, the packaging, everything is just top notch. If you're looking for a razor to give as a gift to dads and grads this year, boy, check this out. This is really the one to give because not only is it an outstanding razor, but the presentation is terrific as well. And because it's adjustable, uh, one to nine, you can give it to a beginner and they can start off at the mild end and then work their way up and really learn the wet shave uh, the proper way. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? They call it the Augustus. Wow, isn't that beautiful, the case it comes in? Let me set this box aside here. There it is right there. Comes with a uh, magnetic latch. Look at the lettering and uh, just overall the presentation just top notch. This just screams quality, it screams elegance, uh, screams manliness, it really is terrific. Has a little, little tab here, a little cloth latch that you can pull on and it opens up like that. Now there's some very info, there's some very helpful information here on the top regarding the razor, a little bit for uh, wet shading in general, be very helpful for beginners and um, established wet shavers alike. Also has an information card right here with some additional information about the, the company, uh, the razor, so on and so forth. We'll set that aside there. And inside, there is the razor. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful finish? The bronze and vintage, vintage bronze and cognac. That is, a, it has a beautiful gold tone to it with what I would describe as a deep, deep brown, like a deep burnt sienna type of color scheme to it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it's numbered on the, on the collar there from one to nine. You can see that a little more clearly than you can on some of the chromed razors I've showed you in the past. Um, but look at that, isn't that beautiful? All the way from one to nine to where it says max there. Um, when you pull out of the box, uh, this adjusting arrow, uh, at least the two that I've had, this little adjustment arrow here on the collar um, is set to nine. So you can open that up and move that around and find the setting that you wanna shave at. Uh, very easy, smooth and continuous all the way through. So you can set it at say, you can set it at say five. If you want to set it at say six and a half, you can do that as well. So for those of you who are looking for a, an adjustable razor with a really nice numbering system, this one is really, really very, very good. So we're going to shave with it again. Uh, beautiful knurling on this handle. I like it. It's flat. It's tight. Gives you a very, very good grip. The knurling on the adjustment knob is also very, very good. It's tight. Uh, you, you're not going to slip. If you use the slickest of slickest of shave creams or soaps, your hands are not going to slip off of this razor. Every, the knurling is all very, very tight and precise and well machined on these. Really, really nice. And again, the mechanism is very, very smooth and precise. And I have found on the previous uh, uh, Emperor razor that the razor head is absolutely beautifully uh, engineered, designed, and manufactured. Blade balance is precise, blade alignment is precise, and it gives a smooth, smooth shape, a beautifully smooth shape. So we're going to shave with this one, and you know, side by side, the heft and the weight, identical. So regardless which one you get, you're going to get a razor that weighs the same and both feel just absolutely wonderful in the hand. So I'm going to set that one aside here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this one. I'm going to open it up. Now, uh, a viewer mentioned to me that when you do adjust this razor or any other adjustable razor that is twisted open, you might want to just take the tension off of that and then make your adjustment. 
Uh, I don't know if that really applies here, but I am going to follow that rule because there are, might be some inner workings that I'm not aware of. I'll contact the company later and do a follow-up. But um, for the time being, that's the rule I'm going to follow. Just loosen the doors a little bit, do the adjustment, and then tighten down. I think it's a good rule to follow. Um, so we're going to shave with this one here, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to open the doors. I'm going to open up all the way up to 9 because the doors will be fully open there because the blade gap is wide. Drop the blade in and then adjust and then lock everything into place. Okay, so for this morning shave, I'm going to use a Derby Premium Razor Blade. This is multi-coated. It's got all kinds of coatings on there. Tungsten, ceramic, polymer. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to kick it off with the Vikings Blade Gentle Mint uh, Pre-Shave Oil. I'm going to use um, CO Bigelow uh, Shaving Cream, just like Parasso Green. Uh, the Vintage, the um, uh, Gentle Mint and the CO uh, Bigelow will really complement one another. The mint and the menthol, looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to use my Samog 1800 uh, uh, bore brush to work up the lather. I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Grain Chairman Shaving Bowl because it's got a lot of room in there because I'm going to generate a lot of lather, I hope to. I'm going to um, finish it off with an Osma Alum Block some uh, skin bracer aftershave because it's got a nice kick and again that will complement the shaving cream and shaving oil and I'm going to follow it up with some fragrance fragrance free Lubriderm 3-in-1 for men uh, and maybe even mix it in with the uh, the skin bracer for a uh, a scented balm but uh, that's what we're doing here this morning I'm really looking forward to using this razor, razor again uh, another looking forward to another great shave let's wet the face let's get going Okay, now, blades in place. Got to make sure that this is straight because I think this has the blade alignment mechanism in it to where if the blade is not seated correctly, the doors won't close. You have to make sure that this is being held completely vertical in a straight line so that everything closes up nicely, and it does. Uh, and yeah, I have had, just in shooting this video, I noticed that the doors wouldn't close because I was holding it one way or another. So make sure you hold this vertically. Uh, and I think that is a feature built in on this one and I'm really glad that they have it there. Okay, blade alignment, absolutely perfect and precise. Blade balance is correct. Again, the end tabs protrude, protrude a little bit, but that's not a deal breaker. The, the head is very, very maneuverable. Now I'm gonna loosen this up just a little bit and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna adjust it right to seven. I'm gonna lock it down. So there I am. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'm at seven. So we're gonna start at seven. The last time I shaved with uh, the uh, frosted chrome version it was at five and a half. So I'm upping this a little bit because I got a good lather and uh, it's a nice smooth blade and I wanna see how aggressive I can go with this razor. All right, so here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's smooth, and the weight of the handle does all the work. It is wonderful. Oh, 
Okay. Absolutely beautiful. A little more aggressive setting. I'm lightening up on my touch a little bit because this razor does all the work. It's amazing. I can feel that it's a little more aggressive, but it is very, very smooth. Really, really nice. I mean, this is, this is a wonderful first pass. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I mentioned in the other video that if the phone rang and I had, to, I had to run out of the office, I had to run out of here and get down to the office, you know what? I could get by with just one pass right now. I mean, it's not a complete shave, but really, I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's amazing. That really is amazing. Okay, let's go with the second pass here. And I am gonna turn it down because I think seven for this, for me, on this razor is probably the uppermost limit. But I gotta be honest with you, I can feel the aggression, the difference between what I had previously, five, five and a half, and seven. And I can feel that that blade gap is open much wider and it's giving me more blade exposure and it's giving me a more aggressive shape. But it's smooth. It's a smooth kind of aggression. That's that's what's so amazing about this razor. I don't know what kind of design they have on their razor heads, but uh, all of the Vikings Blade Twist Open razors have had that same great patented razor head that give me such a an absolutely smooth, efficient shave, and. Uh, the Emperor razors are no exception. Even at level seven, which is in the high range, the um, it's uh, one to nine. There are, there are settings from one to nine. One, two, and three are mild. Four, five, and six are medium. Seven, eight, and nine are aggressive. So I'm right there, starting out in the aggressive range. And believe me, with on my fair skin, I can tell if something is aggressive, and I can tell that that is aggressive, but it is smooth. It is very, very smooth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up, as suggested on this, and I'm going to turn this down all the way down to five. We have it at five now. Okay, can you see that? Is that five right there? Five, okay. These numbers photograph a little easier in this room than the frosted chrome. Um, it might, it's just the lighting and the way, um, uh, the, it's the lighting and uh, the chrome finish and everything don't, it just it didn't photograph too well. But uh, both of these razors, uh, when you hold them uh, side by side, uh, you can see the numbers very, very clearly. When you looking at them right here, um, uh, you can see them, but the lighting here kind of blocks the view a little bit. There's not much, as much contrast on this. A lot of contrast on this right here, but uh, if I hold them down where I get a little more light, you know, hold them down like this, where I get a little more light, I can very, very clearly see the numbers on the frosted chrome. And of course, there's a lot of contrast here. The numbers are very, very visible on this one. Okay, so we're at level five. Okay, so we're at level five. We're gonna go east to west across the grain.
Okay, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. That is a great, great shave. I don't have to do a third pass. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. The great thing about this razor is the maneuverability of the head. As you can see on the second pass, I was able to really get up underneath the nostril and get those little bits out of there, which is really, really nice. But you know what? I don't need a third pass. I'm not going to do a third pass. It, I'm completely done. Uh, wow, I probably should have used the smaller shaving bowl, the uh, regular chairman shaving bowl, because uh, the lather this, this morning was a little bit overkill. I wanted to use a lot of room because I thought maybe I was going to be doing a, uh, a three pass shave. I had a lot of cream left over. I probably should have gone with a smaller bowl and a little less lather, knowing a little less clean, a little, a little less cream, knowing that I'm probably going to be. Uh, only doing two passes at seven, at setting seven to setting five, and I'm done. This razor is wonderful. So that's what's nice. If you want something a little more aggressive, you can go a little higher and then dial down a notch or two, and in two passes you're done. Or if you want to do a three pass shave and stay on the mild end, like I did the first time around, say it's a five, four, and two, you can do that too. So yeah, really nice. I'm gonna do my two final rinses, warm and cold. Here's my warm water rinse. A lot of slickness from the CO Bigelow. Really nice slickness from the oil and the shaving cream. Really nice. Here's my cold water shave. <laughs> Here's my cold water rinse. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably thinking about the summer months with the cold water shave that are coming up. No, this is a cold water rinse. I love this part, especially when I use the CO Bigelow or Parasso Green, because I still have that menthol there and it just really gives me a great kick. Oh, that's beautiful. That, that is a great kick when you use the Parasso Green or CO Bigelow, which is Parasso Green. You get that great menthol kick on a cold water rinse. It's beautiful. It's wonderful, especially having such having had such a nice smooth shave with the Emperor Augustus razor. Okay, nice clean towel here waiting for me. That's marvelous. That really is. That really is wonderful. Wow. All right, here we got my Osma block right here. This will tell the tale. Got to run under some cold water. Run it across my face. Take care of micro abrasions. Take care of micro abrasions, small mixer cuts, irritation, that sort of thing. If I get a lot of zinging or a lot of stinging, that means I've had a really overly aggressive shave. But let's see. I mean, <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. No stinging at all. Nothing. Wow. Maybe, maybe a mild, mild little zig. If that. But smooth as ice. Really, really nice. I mean, that's a smooth shape. And at level seven, I know that uh, in using a vintage Gillette adjustable, the Gillette Slim, when I'm at level seven, uh, boy, you know what? I got to be careful. But with this, this razor head, I don't know. Like I say, I don't know the how they designed or engineered it, but it is so smooth. Now, a previous video, I used the Paul Silver Blade, which everyone loves because of its smoothness. This is a Derby Premium which uh, has, um, it's multi-coated uh, and it is a smooth blade, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, this razor makes the difference because I couldn't tell the blades apart. Really, uh, it, really, I'm, I'm very serious about that. Both of them were very, very smooth. It's a very smooth shave. It really is. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, love this razor. I think this is my new favorite razor. It's gotta be my new favorite razor because it's adjustable. And uh, it's Viking's Blade. It's quality made. Wow. Yeah, I think I found my new favorite razor. All right, I'm going to put this in there like that and let that air dry. We patted it dry, get all the excess water off it, let it air dry, and uh, let that set up overnight. Be ready for the next shave in the morning now because I've been yakking here. I think I can go right to, I'll do the cleanup later. I'm going to go right to my aftershave here. 
uh, skin bracer. Use that. This is set up and dried enough. Some guys like to put the alum on, uh, wait 20 or 30 seconds, and then rinse it off. I like to put it on and leave it on and then go right to my aftershave. So it's been a good 30 seconds. So we can go ahead and just hit this with the aftershave here like this. Good choice this morning. Beautiful, beautiful choice. And I'm gonna get that delayed effect. There's no burning, there's no, um, it doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt. It just is invigorating and there's a, there's a vibrancy to it, which is so nice knowing that I had a really efficient shave that was really smooth and really close. Uh, gonna go with a little bit of Lubriderm here like this, just for upstairs like that up here like this yeah i can feel the i can feel the skin bracer kicking in <laughs> it's great what a great feeling what a great shave you know what if you're not doing the wet shave start doing it there is so much out there wow why because every morning you can have a great shave like i just did wow this boy i tell you what i can't say enough great things about uh, these razors. These razors, this, this is the adjustable razor you want, really, right here. This razor is phenomenal. Um, again, uh, it gives you a mild shave, it gives you a medium aggression shave, it gives you an aggressive shave, uh, whatever you want. One to nine, you get the full range of a uh, of a shave and it's very efficient in the mild to medium range, incredibly efficient in the, at the high end, uh, but it's still very, very smooth, uh, really very, very smooth. Uh, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. How about that? I'm a fair skinned individual. I'm a fair skinned individual and I always like my razors to be I lean towards the mild side. I like the, I love uh, the Vikings Blade Chieftain because the Chieftain gives me that uh, medium, that mild to just on the cusp of being aggressive shave. Uh, that's why I like this razor so much. And again, it's got that patented razor head that gives me a, an absolutely smooth, efficient shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. That's what's so great about this razor. And of course, twist to open, precise, has beautiful heft, has that nice knurling pattern on it. The knurling on this is just slightly different than the ones on the new Emperors. Uh, these are a little flatter, a little tighter, but it's very, very similar knurling pattern. But anyhow, that's why I like the Vikings Blade product so much because it gives me a really, really smooth, smooth shave. So um, I would definitely get this if you're looking for an adjustable razor. If you're looking for a razor for a beginning wet shaver, this is a great choice too because it's adjustable. You can go from they can learn to shave at level one, two, and three. And you have to learn the touch, you have to learn the technique, that sort of thing. But really, it will really be very forgiving at those levels. And uh, then they can work their way up uh, as they develop and grow. Uh, really, this is terrific. This would make a great gift for uh, dads or graduates, dads and grads. Um, a gift, a great birthday gift, a great Christmas gift, a gift uh, any time of the year. Um, heavyweight, fat handled, very substantial, built like a tank, precise blade alignment. Twist to open, adjustable. Boy, you can't, you just can't beat this razor. This razor is just absolutely beautiful. I, I, I'm, like I say, my new favorite razor, right here, my new favorite razor. I've often said that if I were to travel, I would probably take a, a less expensive razor for fear of losing something like this. Uh, you know what? <laughs> if I travel, I think I'm going to take this um, and just keep an eye on it. Make sure I don't lose it because uh, I'm assured of a great shave. Uh, I can have a great shave in the morning and in the evening if I'm going out and I want to touch up, I can dial down to the mild, mild end and have a really quick cleanup without, with being assured that I'm not going to get any irritation or nicks or cuts. Boy, these are terrific, terrific braid, terrific, terrific razors. The Emperor 
Razor, the uh, frosted chrome and the vintage bronze and cognac, also known as the Augustus, get one of these razors. These are absolutely wonderful. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. I used it uh, in the aggressive range, right at the beginning of the aggressive range. I'm a fair skinned individual and I had an absolutely great shave after two passes. Absolutely wonderful. All right. Hey, that's all I wanted to mention to you. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, please share. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.